everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Deborah, also known as Doobage42. Thanks for stopping by for another My Take. And if you could, click that like button right while you're thinking about it. I'll wait. Anyway, today's My Take is about more health stuff. Oh, so super sexy health stuff. Something not terribly sexy at all. Um, snoring, which is not just regular snoring, but snoring where you stop breathing. That is known as sleep apnea, or in another case, obstructive sleep apnea. I've been dealing with obstructive sleep apnea for many years. I think I've had my CPAP now for 14 years. Um, if I don't use it, I stop breathing while I'm sleeping. You may have heard that uh, right lately because remember Carrie Fisher? She had a heart attack uh, on a plane. Turns out that her death was predominantly caused because of sleep apnea. She was not using her machine when she was sleeping on that plane. Machine, what are you talking about? Well, <laughs> there's something called a CPAP. And this is something that forces air basically through your nose. There are some that cover the whole mouth and nose area together while you sleep to keep your airway open. This is the mask. Oh yes. Just ruined all your illusions about sleeping, huh? Yep, you put it on and if you open your mouth while you're using it, you sound like Darth Vader. It's not terribly comfortable. It's just annoying more than anything else, but it can save your life, really. I was told when I first got my CPAP that I was stopping breathing over 60 times an hour. Yeah. And it was making a huge difference. I couldn't stay awake during the day. Um, I was tired when I woke up and it was causing all sorts or exacerbating all sorts of health problems that I had. If I don't use this, I definitely notice a difference. And yes, this is like headgear and you put it on and you have this hose to contend with while you sleep. Oh yeah, it's no joke. And my machine, since it's so old, it's about 14 years old, is huge compared to some of the models they have out now. Kind of jealous of some friend CPAPs that are really small and cute. Let me show you my big old machine. Ta-da! Looks like a shoebox, doesn't it? Um, it has little filters to filter the air that it's pushing to you. You can hook a humidifier up to it. I never like the humidifier part because I live in a very humid part of the country and the air just is rarely dry. If you live in a dry area, you'll need that humidifier. But yes, you plug your hose into there and then it plugs into your mask and it's forcing air into you all night long. I don't have it plugged in right now because where I'm standing there are no plugs, but it's got a little button to turn it on and off here and other buttons that on mine I don't use. I have to keep something over the top of this when I'm sleeping at night, just a little something to cover it because my cats like to turn it off. I don't know if they're trying to kill me or if they just think it's funny for me to wake up flailing to turn it back on because you do. You're sleeping and then all of a sudden you don't have that air forced on you you're not really choking. You can still breathe through the mask. It's not going to stop you. You can always open your mouth and breathe. But boy, is it shocking. Weirdest part about using a CPAP is if you meet somebody new or if you go on a vacation with somebody, you got to bring this machine along and you have to explain to them, yes, I'll be wearing this in bed. Oh, no. Eventually, you get used to it, just like anything else. I hope that someday I can get a newer, smaller model so I'm not carrying around this monstrosity, but it still works. So why pay the extra money for another one? Hmm. Sleep apnea can kill you. If your loved one snores a lot and sounds like they're gasping when they wake up or gasping in their sleep, encourage them to get a sleep study. You might be saving their life or the life of somebody else if they fall asleep behind the wheel because that happens. I'll leave some links to some um, sleep apnea things in the description box below because it's a thing that a lot of people deal with now. It shouldn't be so, oh gosh, I can't let people know that I wear this contraption when I sleep. Eh, it's
it's a thing, you know. We all got something. Some of us have more than others. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by my take today. Uh, click up here for some more my takes about just about anything, not just health stuff. And uh, please hit the like button before you go. See ya.